Okay, here are my pickups for today. Everything you see in front of you uh, represents $135 in spending by me. Uh, for a Friday, I think I spent a fair amount. Um, you know, I got some things that might be good, but I'm not really sure uh, on, on other things. Let me just go through it. Um, for not $8, for $5, I got this set. Um, it's a manger, and it comes with all these uh, made in Italy, the older nativity uh, figures. You can sell these on eBay sometimes for $10, sometimes more, depending on it. Like something like this would be an unusual one. Um, condition doesn't always uh, kill a sale because they're very hard to find. And, and these are like made, they call them crash or composition. Um, you, you know, the, the ones that would usually be worth the least would be the Jesus Mary. Um, well, sometimes actually the baby, the baby Jesus are worth more uh, because sometimes they get separated because people don't always put them in um, the manger until the day of Christmas when the baby's born. But anyway, uh, these figures on eBay would probably sell about eight, ten dollars a piece. Uh, ones like this, again, sell for more. Um, wise men are, and usually you sell the three together, but uh, sometimes the baby G's you get like ten bucks alone for some. And you can see they're marked Italy uh, and some uh, these are like composition. I'll show you ones that are more like paper mache in a second. Um, I, I'm probably going to give this to a friend because it really I can't really sell these so, for so much at the flea markets. I mean, I probably could sell some of like the animals for four or five dollars a piece, but uh, on eBay you just get more. So I'm going to give them to a friend of mine to sell on eBay. Uh, I only got five bucks into it, so whatever we get is fine. For twenty-five dollars at an estate sale, I got um, all these pieces, uh, this, this, and that, and this is kind of like an as-is lot. <laughs> But this, the thing, well, and actually, I thought I was going to get most of my money back on, on this Mary. Um, or I think that's Mary. It might be Teresa. Anyway, um, but I didn't see this on the back. I just said, okay, I'll buy it, you know. And so that, I, I thought I was going to get 15 for it. I'll probably get like five now with all the problems. Um, but still, I think I'm okay with this lot because they have these large figures. And, um, again, these are very hard to find. See, it says hand-painted Italy. Um... They're hard to find. They're very delicate, as you can see. Um, they're made of like a pressed paper, a molded paper. Um, and, I, you know, I'm not really sure. I, it kind of works out I paid less than five a piece for everything here. And sometimes these are worth like 100 plus. So, again, I'm going to give these to my friend. And I think he should probably just lot them because these do have condition problems. Like, she's missing her nose. Uh, Mary's missing her nose here. And this one you can see very... Uh, faintly hand painted Italy. Um, like I said, they might be worth as much as a hundred or more a piece, but I've got to do some research. And, and here, you can just see, like, whoever glued this together did a terrible job, but um, the, the first two pieces were the best one. The wings broke off. Um, here's a Joseph, and I don't know what happened to Joseph. He just got crushed. Uh, but there is a baby Jesus in the manger, which you can see, uh, missing most of the paint, but again, it's marked Italy, so definitely an older one. And, uh, and sometimes they call this stuff crash. This feels like uh, another one, but this one feels cheaper. And then there's some plastic ones. And like I said, oh, this one's from Germany. You can sell these, again, like maybe the little ones for 8 to 10 or 15 or sometimes 20 a piece on eBay. See, this one says Japan. So the Japan ones weren't worth, aren't worth as much. And then I've got some, uh, your, some composition sheep. And these are probably worth like 15 a pair or something like that. Um, even not being perfect. Uh, this one's broken, so I don't know. It's like part of, it'll be part of a lot. Um, so that covers that stuff. And you know what, I'll continue on with collectibles. Um, I think I paid $3 for this, not really sure. Um, it's a vase in the shape of a dog's foot. Um, it was made by Victor Carranza, and it was a, a Mikasa piece. And the guy was telling me a little about it. He said, yeah, this guy was an important designer, blah, 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 but we'll see. I'll look it up. Uh, that's probably only, if it's not worth like 30 to 50 on eBay, I'm taking it to the flea market. I didn't really pay much for it. Uh, what this, these mushroom paperweights do well on eBay. It says 15, I paid 10. Um, I should be able to get 30 at least for it. And that'll be what I list in the winter when things are slow. Um, but this neat owl paperweight, only a dollar. This is probably Murano, but normally you don't see with the, the red eyes. I've seen this before. So I like that. Uh... And maybe there's a flea bite there, but I only paid a dollar for it, and I don't really care. Um, probably eBayable. 
Uh, if not eBayable, if it's not worth like 30 or more, I'll just take it to flea market and sell it for 10 to 15. Um, a nice smoke glass, probably, most likely Fenton um, hobnail vase. Uh, I think that's dirt. You gotta be careful when you buy these hobnail vases because sometimes the hobnails take a bump and and you really don't see it at first. Uh, but I only paid four for that, so I think that's a pretty good deal. I will probably take it to the flea market and just sell it for maybe, uh, I don't know, probably like 10 to 15. Um, let's see. Uh, I bought this tile. Uh, it has like little nicks on the edge, but it was only $2. And it looks very 60s or 70s. And tiles like this used to do well. There's some guys that their tiles are worth a lot of money. Guys like Harris Strong. Uh, I don't know who made this, but it looks kind of Scandinavian or Italian or something like that. Um, if I can attribute it to somebody, that'd be great. And this was made to hang on a wall. Um, but if not, I'll probably... See, it probably had a paper label, which is long gone. Um, I'll probably... If I can attribute it to somebody, I'll get more money. If not, I can probably get 10 to 20 for it at a flea market, or the ones that I go to. I uh, bought this for $3. Just a collection of opera CDs. Um, i probably sell it for 10 Uh, here's something odd I bought. I got these for $3 for these two boxes. Now, I could probably just throw these on eBay... And I'm hoping they have um, worth, there's like 24 bulbs in each of the box. So, I mean, how could they not be worth like $50 for the two, even if it's like one bulb in each box is worth a dollar? But um, I'm going to find out. You know, it's just an oddball thing I bought for $3. Either I'll give it to my friend to list, or if it's really easy, I'll just throw it on and list it myself. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, this might be good. Uh, this is kind of a confetti style uh, a Murano art glass bowl. And I think it looks something like uh, a glass artist named Dino Martins might do. Um, but I'm going to have to find out. I'll have to uh, do a little research. Let me get it in the sun. You can see it's got the aventurine and silver flecks and just stuff like that. I only paid five. And uh, it's got like um, Latticino and uh, Millefiori. If this is by an artist like Dino Martins, or if it is Dino Martins, then it's worth like hundreds probably. I, I don't know what I get exactly, but it, it's definitely worth it. Um, uh, let me just do the jewelry quick, and then I'll finish up with the small amount of video games I got uh, today. Um, bought these chains, two bucks a piece. Um, these we sell at flea markets between five and eight dollars. Um, for ten dollars, got just a little stone bracelet, um, and uh, this is probably out of Israel, and it's probably a silver. It's kind of like a, a, a an Israeli turquoise. I, I I don't remember what the name of the stone is. Uh, a couple of silver chains, not much value, and this pen, which is kind of neat looking. Uh, it says something on the back. I can't really read it, but kind of neat. Ten bucks, that's fine. And I don't remember what we paid for all of this. I know I, we got these three bangles for uh, a dollar. So if we sell them for two dollars each, that's fine. And then just some uh, miscellaneous assorted uh, pins, you can see. And I think we paid 50 cents a piece for pins, these pins. What is this? These are stuck together. And just like a neat bicycle pin. Probably get three to five. Uh, a sun and a moon, like three to five. Parrot, three to five. Uh, this is a Monet, so maybe five to eight. Uh, just a big gold tone pen, three to five probably. And um, it's got like cards and stuff. You know, this is just regular stuff. I got another big enamel parrot pen, but it's contemporary. This I think we paid two dollars for. It's kind of a nice looking stick pen. Um, none of this stuff is eBayable. Not e I don't even think it's in a lot it's eBayable. Um, like here, this is enamel. If she cleans it, she'll probably get like five bucks for it. Um, let me finish up with the games. Um, for twenty bucks, I bought this, and I'm really only going to sell it for say thirty dollars. But I like to have them, and I don't really have a lot right now. So, uh, and it actually looks pretty clean, and I believe it's working. You know, it's a little scuffed up, but not too bad. Uh, it came with a Doom game a controller and all the wires, so that should be ready to go. Uh, for ten dollars, well, um, this I only paid a dollar for, and this is actually a pretty good game. I don't remember if this is the more valuable of the Xbox Simpsons games, but it should be worth ten or so, or ten to twenty, maybe something like that. Um, finishing up. Oh no, actually, let me just do this quick. For a dollar, I got all these Wii covers. These are good if you lose the backs or they snap off the Wii. So you just put this on and you lose your batteries, and plus it protects the Wii. Uh, for ten dollars, I bought this. It is complete, but it. It rattles, and uh, it looks like some of the bars are broken. So it has definitely has cosmetic problems. I might snap out some of those. I don't really know the vents. Um, but it came with two controllers. This one, that looks loose, but it might be good. If it's, if it's iffy, I'll save it for myself. And then um, this one looks, again... Now this one looks, it feels tighter. This one's probably good. 
Um, so for ten dollars, it's a safe bet. I actually, if this doesn't work right, I need this for another uh, N64 that that I don't have. And um, yeah, that covers everything that I got today.